This is me, Josh Soros, exploring one of the biggest abandoned prisons left in Canada. Finding abandoned prisons in Canada is hard and rare, so I was super psyched to see this building and finally get a chance to explore it. The only problem is we were running from the rain. It was about the thunderstorm on us and we had to get inside ASAP. And yes, I'm super aware of how creepy this building looks, but did I even mention that this place is super haunted? <laughs> yeah, we're going to do an investigation on this place too, because we got to figure out if there's ghosts or not. So let's get right into this, starting with some history. Burwash Correctional Facility, also known as Camp Bison, was originally built in 1914. The facility was built to be self-sustainable, having their own residence units for their workers, a hospital, a church, a grocery store, a blacksmith, a barber shop, and even their own farms for their own food. The building was built to have about a thousand inmates at once, but they never reached that full capacity. Camp Bison is a very isolated prison with the hike of about 3.5 miles from the closest road. The site had about 35,000 acres of land. Camp Bison closed its doors due to it being too expensive to maintain, even though they had it being self-sustainable. They closed their doors in 1975, and in 1990, the military purchased about 8,000 acres of the land to perform military training exercises using explosives, which left majority of the buildings on the property demolished. Today, the main building of Burwash still stands and is being reclaimed by the earth. Now that you all are done watching the history of this place, we get into the juicy stuff, the explore. As walking into this building, I started to realize just how creepy it really was. There's this random chair just sitting outside, which I wasn't really uh, happy about. It was kind of scary. But as getting inside, we started to explore a little more. And yes, you can feel the eeriness of it just walking into the building. This place is quite haunted and quite scary. Let's get on with the explore and check this place out. And then we'll get right into this investigation for you guys. A fireplace or something like that anyways. Look at this corridor guys. Oh, I just saw lightning. That's the thunder that you guys could hear. Like it's creeping up on us. This might have been the worst time that we took an hour long hike to get to something. So we're kind of trapped in here until the rain is going to stop. It hasn't fully started yet. But we're an hour away from our vehicle, so... We're just gonna try to hold it out as long as we can. People just bonfires here. Some lawn chairs. Whoa. That is creepy, guys. Just look at all these cells down here. Just a whole hallway of cells. I keep hearing things from over here. There's another corridor just filled with cells. So let's start on this side and then we'll go all the way to the end. And then we'll work our way. Like these are the cells, look how small they are. At least they have windows, like not much of these places have windows. walk all the way down and then I'll show you guys these rooms. I just want to show you guys like just how beautiful this hallway really is. This is one of the doors guys. Holy. Things just solid. This 
is a heavy, heavy door. It seems like someone was here. Excuse me, man. Like, look at this door, guys. I thought the hallway was going to end. And then we were going to walk back down this way, but it seems like it keeps going this way. I just saw something at the end. Oh, it's birds. Do you see that? Someone has been, eh? Look at all this stuff. Oh, the rain's coming in, guys. Oh, the rain just came down. Yeah, it's a good thing that this is a old jail, so it's probably not going to break due to weather. It's just pouring out there. Yeah, it makes it more scary in here when you know there's a huge thunderstorm going on out there. Look, rain's coming into this room. It smells good though, because the rain. Just more rooms. I think me and Diana might have to camp out here tonight, guys. I don't think we're going to get back to the Jeep, but we have to have dinner. And uh, the Jeep's where I'm cooking tonight, so. Lipstick. I don't know what those are. Let's keep going around here first. Oh my god, the shower room. Birds just flying in here, guys. Did you see that? Bird just flying right past us. This is the old shower room. As you guys can see, it's just pouring out here. All right, let's get right back into this. We just had a little stop, just sat down from that long hike. Like this storm is just coming in so I hope that it chills out a bit before we have to leave because um, I don't feel like hiking an hour through a thunderstorm. This side just all wet. It's a shower room that's getting wet because of all the rain coming in. I hope you all are enjoying this video. If you can, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And also let me know in the comments down below if you know what this is. It looks like some blank bullets, maybe from police training or something like that, but I'm not 100% sure. So please let me know down below. Yeah, there's millions of them. They're literally all over the floor everywhere. Look at this guy's old pipe, but it's going in over now. You guys just hear that storm coming down on us? Kind of makes for an atmosphere for this video. Oh, I see the lightning starting. Yeah, that scares me a bit too, not gonna lie to you. Especially when it's so loud. Look at this one. Looks like the door was like ripped off of it. It just makes it creepier because we have the thunderstorm. We're hearing a bunch of things around us. And we're out in the middle of nowhere. Both of us have never been before. Down this way or down that way? Down there, see what's going on. Look. Used to be gates up here. Yeah, I saw that over there. Yeah, all these used to be gated off. Yeah. I swear, I keep hearing someone down there. I think I keep hearing someone down there. Like I hear what? Like everyone just comes screaming from the wind from the rain. Okay, we're gonna go this way for now because we honestly think we keep hearing someone down here. So we're gonna try to avoid that area for now. Somewhere is pouring in here. Hmm? 
Oh my god. So maybe someone is staying here. That's our first evidence that someone probably is here right now. Hello? Anybody here? I'm just exploring. Like this still has a door on it. Oh. Hello? I think we found where they were living, guys. There's still matches there and everything. I mean, there's a bunch of pots and pans. So I don't know if there's someone still living here, or if this is all just left over from when they lived here. I don't know, but it's kind of giving me the heapers, jeepers. Especially because we're kind of stuck in here right now with this storm. So I really hope there's no one watching us in here, because we're kind of screwed. I swear, this is the making of a horror movie. I know. <laughs> Look at that. Look, there's like a... Look, what's that? Like an air mattress? I'm hearing things all around us, guys. Like, look at this, guys. Just to show you guys what I mean. There's literally little homes inside of all these little things. People have made homes in here. So I don't know if there's anybody around us. I really hope that they've all been kicked out. I'm not sure. This is definitely one of the more scary explorers I've done just because of the size of this place. This is definitely the biggest place I've explored so far. But uh, this place just um, sketches me out because there could be people living in here. This place is going to be flooded soon with all this water coming in. This might have been the woman's side or something, and the other side was the man's. Yeah. See a little building down there? It's probably for the water. Uh, we came from all the way down there, guys. All the way. Like, it, it was a long walk. Like, an hour of a walk. An hour hike over here. See, this is what creeps me out. Someone's definitely been shooting that. And we saw all these bullets around. I'm just hoping that there's no, like, people walking around here just shooting everything they see. Right before it gets filled with rain. Ooh. Yeah, see, like, look at this, guys. There's shotgun shells. Let's see. All we can do is see. Look at this. This is like the little booth where the guards would be. The guards would be in here. Oh, this is like the cafeteria. The guards would be sitting in here watching.
to be watching this cafeteria or whatever this is. Making sure there's no fights or nothing like that. See the old light fixtures up in the ceiling. Yeah, this is a big area. Storage room. Ooh, elevators. Oh, they weren't elevators. Sorry, you guys. They were uh, they're freezers. Big walk-in freezer. This would be the loading dock where they'd get all their stuff in. Show you guys this weather that just came down on us. It's like the old boiler room. We are in the middle of nowhere. Now this right here would be an elevator. And it looks like it just crashed down to the bottom. Under the basement. Okay, we got a staircase in here. Some Mr. Noodles and some food cans. You're good doing. Old little booth here. I'm not sure what it'd be for. Yeah, I'm not sure what this room would be. Huh? Yeah, like it looks like that's where they'd hang the lights from. Oh, look at this. This is a cool find right here. Leftover bars. Now oh, these used to be up everywhere, guys. They've been torn down a lot throughout the place. Oh, a stage. Look at this, guys. Huh. It's to be where they'd come watch little shows or whatever. Little stage. I would go on there and do a little dance for you guys, but I don't know how strong that is. i take a look in here quick. Looks like people like destroyed through to other walls and stuff. Rooms that they couldn't get into. Look at this. A gate in front of a door. So this must have been a cell. A cell of some sort. All the fenced off, the bars on everything. As we explored this place, it didn't really feel like we were alone. It kind of felt scary, 
things behind us kept making noise, as you could see in the video, and it was just kind of feeling off. As we went around, there wasn't all that much to show you guys anymore. It was just cells, more cells, and cells. That's really all there was, so we decided to start setting up for our investigation. Getting into the investigation, we had our EMF detector, dowsing rods, and a spirit box in my pocket. We were ready to get started. Hello. Is there anybody here that would like to speak to me? Sound a little weird there. If there's anybody that would like to speak to me, please say hello. Hello? There's <laughs> <laughs> something, something about me coughing or something. <laughs> following you? So you're following me, eh? What is your name? How's my dowsing rods fell out of my pocket? What did you hear? Run. Run? Jail. This is a jail? Yeah. Really? Would you like to talk to me? As you can hear, we started to get some very odd answers through the the spirit box. It was starting to get weird and you could hear someone say don't. It sounded like the other spirit or like a demon or something was telling the other spirits not to answer and it was kind of weird. Can you tell me your name? What cell number am I in? Can you tell me anything about this place? What's it called? What's this place called? It was kind of weird in person. I couldn't really hear these answers. Until I got home and I edited this video, I couldn't really hear any of them or make them out. But they're answering my question. This place was called Camp what Bison. What is the name of this place? What is the name of this place? And there it is again, a clear answer. Radio, like, uh, uh, uh. Am I just hearing uh, leftover energy from this place? Or is there any uh, spirits that can communicate with me? Can you make a noise? What happened here? Is that what it said? No, I'm asking, I'm asking. What happened here? I feel like a scream. How does it feel to be in here? Are you, are you trapped here? Do you like being trapped here or would you rather leave? So I'm going to set this right here and I'll let it... And just like that, unfortunately, 
all communication stopped. I don't know why. I don't know if they were trying to speak to me or if this was all just residual energy left in the building, but everything just stopped. Because of this, I was forced to pack up my gear. There was no point of standing around talking to no one. And just like that, we got another video. Please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. As always, that helps me out with the algorithm, and I really do appreciate it. Love you, take care, and peace.